So prison farms are coming back to Canada, and the government has a hefty decision to make. What model will these farms adopt? Basically, will these farms farm animals, or will these farms farm plants? The old prison farm model included dairy operations. So hundreds of acres of prime agricultural land were used to grow crops to feed to large numbers of cows, who were then converted into milk and meat for prisoners to drink and eat. Well, not only is this an inefficient form of food production, it involves prisoners in conflicted relationships with the animals, caring for them while also forcibly impregnating them, separating calves from their mothers, shipping calves and cows off to slaughter at a young age, and even being trained in an on-site slaughterhouse. Think of it, training prisoners to kill. So when it comes to bringing the farms back, the question we have to ask ourselves is, is dairy the most effective form of rehabilitation? And is this the best possible model for our prison farms? Or can we think of something better? Hmm. We can. Plant-based agriculture and farmed animal sanctuary the permanent, non-exploitative care of animals. We can have all the benefits of human-animal therapy without the conflicts inherent in animal agriculture, which requires prisoners to continually form and break bonds of affection and trust. This is the wrong thing to be teaching prisoners. Instead, we can offer compassion-based rehabilitation, which leaves no room for violence, no manipulation of female reproductive systems, no taking of life, but instead has at its foundation reverence for life. Sanctuary, not slaughter. It's a no-brainer. This is also an opportunity to model healthy lifestyles and the kind of dietary choices that promote physical, mental, and environmental health. We can use those hundreds of acres of prime agricultural land to produce healthful plant-based foods more food of higher nutritional value at a fraction of the cost, using less water, less energy, creating less pollution, fewer greenhouse gas emissions than animal agriculture. And while animal foods are closely linked with serious illness, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, plant-based foods have the opposite effect, reducing risk of disease, and in some cases even reversing it. Canada's Food Guide is under revision to remove dairy as a food group and to promote plant-based sources of protein over animal protein. Well, our prisons follow Canada's food guide, so bringing dairy back to our prison farms sends the wrong message. An unsustainable message, a conflicted message, and a counterintuitive one. Evolve Our Prison Farms has put forward a proposal that is in line with government priorities, market trends, and evolving social consciousness around human and animal rights, health, and environmental sustainability. This is the best possible model for our prison farms. And we can make it happen, but we need your support. If you care about animal justice, prisoner justice, environmental justice, social justice, then please, like and share our Facebook. Sign and share our petition. We need to show the government that plant-based agriculture and sanctuary are what the people want. Expect. Demand. Prime Minister Trudeau and Minister Ralph Goodell, the world is evolving. The decision you make will determine whether Canada leads or lags behind. It's time for a step forward not a step back. Let's evolve our prison farms.